Listen, listen. Okay. You ask me the first question, but if you, if you, after the first question, run away, I will put you on YouTube and I will make you famous. Right? So don't run away like a coward, okay? <laughs> after the first question. I know, I know. I've, di I've, I've, I've done this question. before. I dare you. You what? won't be able to answer my first question. Really? Really? Now, <laughs> yeah. If That's first, a good one. You don't get to ask the second question until the first question is answered. See, 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 guys. See? This is exactly what, what I was expecting. So you're mm -hmm. a coward. You're not going to answer one question about Islam. Right? You're not going to do it. So uh, this is why, this is why, Answer guys, guys, this time. is why, no, no, I'm like, this is why I never debate Muslims about Christianity, because the next thing you will do is call Allah, uh, you know uh, you're false, going to call, you know no, 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 because you are yeah. a scumbag calling Allah and Muhammad is. liars, because according to the Quran, Muhammad confirms and Allah the confirms the Bible. He confirms the Injil. No, no, I can, I can. You you, your Quran confirms the Bible. Fourteen hundred years later, you, you have no clue about Quran. <coughs> you come and say the Bible is corrupted. Who are you? Why are you calling Allah a liar, man? Why are you calling Muhammad a liar who, who placed the Torah on the cushion according to the Sahih Hadith and he says, I believe in you, the Torah, and the one who sent you. That who weak, are you? Weak, that's a weak hadith. No, it's that's not weak hadith. hadith. No, it's, it's not weak hadith. hadith. Prove it. Prove it. It's a weak hadith. Okay, prove it. Ibn Hazm, Ibn Hazm bring has it. declared it. Bring, 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 bring it. Bring it. I show me from sunnah.com. I can show you, I can show you that's good hadith. Authentic. Do you want me I to show you the hadith? Prove all the rijal. Do, Do you know Asma rijal? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know Asma Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to show you. Do you know Jarwat Adil? Woo. Who's that guy? You don't even know these terms. So you have to prove that hadith. Who? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I understand your Arabic. Your Arabic sucks, man. Do you know small rijal? Small rijal, small uh, gentlemen, small males, what? <laughs> A small rijal is the science of checking narrators of hadith. Okay, so your Arabic sucks. I can't understand your Arabic. Sorry, not my problem. So, let me show you the hadith, okay? Let me show you the hadith. I know that hadith already. That's a weak hadith. No, it's not weak. It is weak. What if I can prove you it's not weak? What will you do? Will you, you apologize? All will the you, up, will all you the apologize? Of that hadith. Will you apologize? Is it in Bukhari or Muslim? Is it in Bukhari or Muslim? Wait. Is it in Bukhari or Muslim? Wait. Take your time. Hold your horses. I challenge you to prove it from Bukhari and Muslim, the two most authentic books. Wait. Don't worry, I will catch you easily. Don't worry, I will defeat you, inshallah. Inshallah, the point is, there's, point no is, Allah. there's no Allah. So you can't do nothing, man. The first verse of Bible in in a book of Genesis. Oh, don't Elohim. change topic. That's don't change topic. Word. Wait, wait, wait. Same word. Don't change topic. Allah, Allah is mentioned in the Bible. Don't change topic. Allah is not mentioned in the very Bible. First don't change topic. Genesis Coward, don't Allah. change topic. The I'll mute you. First. I'll mute you for a second. So first we want to finish one topic, then we go to the second. I'll unmute you. Take your time. Easy. We will go to the next topic. Easy. I unmuted you at least one topic at a time. We can't debate See, this topics. is what you guys do you mute other people yeah because because, you're, because a you're a coward you want to change topic in one second coward. you're a coward yeah let's let's do it let's do it in a neutral room okay let's do it on a, another no, software no no because you're going to run away you're running already after one second you you will muted run. me you muted me you you muted me yeah because you you're a coward again. you're a coward just a second man let us finish you're the hadith you muted me you know what? I don't have time for kids like you. If you don't want to finish this topic, I will ban you, not even kick you alone. Okay? At yeah, least yeah, respect yeah. On, at least respect yourself. We can finish this topic. Be a man, man. Okay, first I will ask the question and Can you give me can, me, can you give me okay, can you give me the hadith for sunnah.com or not? Of what? Sunnah.com, the official Islamic Sunnah website. 
Yeah, it it doesn't matter what that says. The hadith is not in Bukhari and Muslim. Who okay. cares? Okay. Did you catch it, guys? He said it's not in Sahih al Bukhari. Let me prove him wrong and spank him and showing you that he's lying about his prophet, calling his prophet a liar. So let me go to Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari from Sunnah.com, hadith number 6819. Read with me, guys. So we can spank this Abdul because he will he was not allowing me to show him the hadith because he was having a mouth like a machine gun, a toilet mouth. Now read with me, guys. A Jew and a Jewish were brought to Allah Messenger on a charge of committing an illegal sexual intercourse. The Prophet asked them, What is the legal punishment for this sin in your book, Torah? They replied, Our priest had innovated the punishment of blackening the faces with charcoal and taibiya. Abdullah bin Salam said, O oh Allah's Messenger, tell them to bring the Torah. So the Torah was brought and then one of the Jews put his hand over the divine verse from the Torah of the Rajim, the stoning, and started reading what preceded and what followed it. See that? On that, Ibn Salam said to the Jew, lift up your hand, behold, the divine verse, again from the Torah, of the regime of the stoning, was under his hand. So Allah's apostle ordered that the two sinners, the Jews, be stoned to death, and so they were stoned. Ibn Omar added, so both of them were stoned at the Balat, and saw that the Jew sheltering the Jews. So as you saw guys, from Sahih al-Bukhari, from sunnah.com, actually the Prophet is judging from the Torah. So this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You have been spanked Muslim, Abdul. You have been served. Let me show you from Sunnan Abi Daud from the same websites, sunnah.com. This is a Hassan grade hadith, which means good. Hassan, good. It's not Da'if as he's saying. No. This is Sunan bi Da'ud, hadith number 444.9. A group of Jews came and invited the Messenger of Allah to Kuf. So he visited them in their school. They said, Abu Qasim, who is another nickname for Muhammad, one of our men has committed fornication with a woman. So pronounce judgment upon them. They placed the cushion for the messenger of Allah who sat on it and said, bring the Torah. Again, bring the Torah. It was then brought and then he withdrew the cushion from beneath him and placed the Torah on it saying, I believe in thee and in him who revealed thee. So he believes in the Torah. So who are you Muslims to say that the Torah is corrupted? Clearly the Torah in the time of Muhammad was not corrupted. So Muslims, why are you lying? Shame on you. So then let us continue. He then said, bring me one who is learned among you. Then a young man was brought. They transmitted and mentioned the rest of the tradition of stoning similar to one transmitted by Malik from Nafi. Number 4431. So as you see guys, we showed you from Sahih al-Bukhari that Muhammad is casting judgment from the Torah, so Muhammad believed in the Torah, and from Sunan Abi Daud, from Hassan Hadith, that it's good Hadith showing that Muhammad believed in the Torah from both Sahih al Bukhari and from the other one from Sunan Abi Daud, which is also included in the six authentic collection of Hadith books. So, guys, let me play the debate once more. So we just spanked Abdul from two sources from Sayyid al-Bukhari and from Sunan Abi Daud, spanked him and served him, showing you that he's lying about his prophet. Let me continue playing the debate. Who cares? You have six authentic books. No, 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 no,
there no, are there are sunnah.com has six books. Don't lie. Six collection. It has six books, but two of them are most authentic. Bukhari and Muslim. Who cares? Remaining the, have, who cares? Remaining, remaining have weak Who hadith. cares? It calls the authentic collection. Those are Ibn Majah, Ibn Abi Dawood, Sahih Muslim. They are called Kutub al Sitta. They are called Kutub al Sitta. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Who are you to say? Who are you to say they are not authentic? Six, Shut up, it man. It just says six books. It doesn't say Shut six up. authentic books. Shut up. Shut up. It's, let me get the hadith. Books. Shut up. Let me get the hadith. Coward. Let me get the hadith. Then we go to the next topic. Just a second. Hold your horses. Because you're too coward to give me the hadith to defend Islam. I have to look it for you. So it will take me time. Just, just a second. See guys, the only thing he says is, uh, I want to change topic because he are, is too afraid for me to show him the hadith. Why are you changing the topic? The topic was divinity of Christ. No, that wasn't. Shut up. Don't speak, don't speak, don't speak. Yes, only Rob and Amir. Amerik are to speak. Nobody else. Everyone else on mute. I can't find the hadith on sunnah.com when you need it, man. Can someone help me? Because the Abdul doesn't want to put it in text. They, I think they removed it or something? Oh. Let me ask Prophet Google, peace be upon him. It's in the Quran too. Quran is stronger than because he's Amerik. Amerik, you're afraid. Let me go to the Quran because you say hadith is wrong. Okay, no problem. We will get it from the Quran. Just a second. Okay, Quran, this is Quran, chapter 5, I have 44. Look what it says, let me put it in the text. Indeed we sent down the Torah in which was guidance and light. The prophet who submitted judged by it for the Jews, so did the rabbis and scholars. So here Allah confirms the Torah, right? So who are you, Amarik, to say that the Torah is corrupted? Who are you, man? This is the Quran. This is not even Hadith. First, show the Hadith. You're running from the Hadith. No, I'm not running. I'm not running. I'm not running. No, I'm not running. I can't find it at the moment. That Hadith is a weak Hadith. Yeah, is the Quran weak? Is the Quran weak? Is the Quran weak? No, no, no. This this verse of the Quran is not talking about authenticity of Torah for all times. It is talking about the revelation. Where does it say? Torah. Where does it say that? It is talking about the revelation of Torah. We where does it say that? Where Torah. where does it say that? Did the did your Torah, prophet did the Quran did the Quran confirm the Torah? The hadith now because I'm not running. I can't hadith. find it at the moment. Is that possible? <laughs> your 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 filthy translators. <laughs> Hide it sometimes. And I just started my PC 
There's no problem if I can't find it at the moment. But I gave you the Quran, the Quran ayah. And you are adding to the Quranic ayah because I posted in the room and it's clear. It says, indeed we sent down, down the Torah in which was guidance and light. Right? Send down the Torah, revelation of Torah. Yeah. Send so, down the Torah. so. It is so, talking about revelation of Torah, not it being authentic right now. Where does it say we that? Believe, where does it say that? Where believe. does it say that? Where does it, it say that? It says we send down the Torah. It where says we send down the Torah. You read it yourself? Yes, you indeed we send down the Torah. Yeah, so? Yes, yes. Yes. I believe, where the, believe and where does it say, And where does it say it? Say it anywhere in the Quran that the Torah is corrupted. I challenge you and I challenge your prophet to show me where in the Quran it says the Torah is corrupted. I challenge you. Right here, right now. The, they exchanged the verses for little price. It is mentioned in Quran. Okay, show me the ayah. Are you talking uh, about 279? Uh, Are you talking about 279? This one? This is the ayah, right? So, who do those who write the scripture with their own hands then say, this is from Allah. In order to exchange it for a small price, who to them for their hands have written and who to them for what they earn. Where, where is the Torah in this ayah is mentioned? Where is it mentioned? I can't see it. Can you see it? I don't see it. Where does it say Torah? It says scripture. Liar. This can be the Quran. This can be any scripture. No. This is talking about the Jews. This is talking about the Jews. Which scripture the Jews had? Where does it Which say? Where does Jews it say? Had? Where does it say Jews? And where does it say scripture? Uh, sorry, where does context, it talk about? It's talking about Jews. It's talking about. So you ask for one verse which says about corruption in Torah, and you have read it. No, yourself. it doesn't say. It doesn't say Jews. It doesn't now say Torah. Now, to the hadith. The hadith you showed. Why are you afraid to show it again? Show it to us. Show the complete chain of narration of that. I will prove it to be weak. I will prove it to be weak. Nowhere Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that the Torah and the Injil which are present today are authentic. Nowhere and, nowhere, and nowhere does it say that they are not authentic. I challenge you to show me where, where he, you from his mouth says, right I now. challenge you, you to show me you where your word. Prophet says that the Torah and the Injil at the time of Muhammad were corrupted. I challenge you. It's proven from Quran. Show me. You read the word I yourself am, right no, now. No, I didn't. It says scripture. Which scripture? You have to prove which scripture. Which scripture Jews, Jews, which scripture Jews where have? does it say Jews? Where does it say Jews? And where does it say read Torah? It Show me the context. Read it in context. Show me. And 275 nowhere says it says Torah. The Arabic doesn't say. The fake translation in 275 says it, it's Torah. But if you go to the Arabic, nowhere does it say Torah. You see, they have to lie in their translation. You see, 275, let me read it. Do you covet that they would believe for you? Uh, well, a part of, of them used to hear the words of Allah and then distort the Torah. You see the word Torah, it does not say that in the Arabic. This is a false translation. Sahih International, filthy scumbag translator. This is the Arabic. This is the Arabic. Let me put the Arabic for you in the text. Two, if you know Arabic, show me in the Arabic where it says Torah. Show me in the Arabic here where it says Torah. I challenge you. Go ahead. Show me here the word Torah. Who is the verse talking about? No, you Who show me the, the word Torah, Torah, Torah in this ayah. Show me the Torah in 279. Show me the Torah. Reading? Which translation? I don't. Are you I don't need to trans. I don't need translation. I'm an Arabic speaker. I don't need it. Okay, then read, read the verse. Read the verse. Okay, no, it's your Quran. You read it and show me where the, is the Torah. You no, no, mentioned. You said you're an Arabic speaker. Read the verse. Afatatma'una in yu'minu lakum wa qad kana fariqun minhum yasma'una kalam Allahi thumma yuharrifunahu min. بعد ما عقلوه وهم يعلمون. <laughs> so you're reading it wrongly. No, you're I'm not reading it wrongly. It wrongly. I'm reading it. Yes, Did yes. I read it? 
No, no. You, okay, you, you read you, it. You read it. Prayer. Okay, read it for me. Read it for me. You're not, you're, you're read not it. You read, you read it. You read it. Yes, Ma'un. Yeah, they hear it. Where does it say the Torah? Did you hear me say the Torah? No. The Torah is not even mentioned in the Arabic. The Torah is not mentioned in Arabic, but the Sahih International filthy scum by liar added the word Torah. Why? Because you Muslims are nothing but deceivers when you translate the Quran. Okay, okay, let's come back to the topic which we want okay, to discuss. Okay, I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you to show me where the Torah in the Quran is corrupted. Show me the ayah. Who, who, who is this verse talking about? You tell me, Surah because Bakara. it doesn't say the Torah. You tell me. Show me. It's talking about Jews. It's talking about Jews. No, it does. Which Jews, is, Jews which are scripture? Jews are not mentioned, and the Torah is not mentioned in two seventy five. Stop lying. Okay. Does Jesus say anywhere? Let me put you a counter question. No, no, no. Don't but, but don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. I'm we will go. Topic. We will go to. We will go to Jesus. We will go to Jesus. Where does the Quran? Where does the Quran? Where does the Quran say that the Torah is is corrupted? I'm answering your okay. question. Listen to me first. Okay. Did Jesus ever say, I am God, worship me? Did he ever say that? No, he didn't. No, he never said that. No, he didn't. So, but still, but still you use verses. You see, you see the difference. Amerik, you see the difference. You see the difference. Use you, you from your mouth. You say the Bible is corrupted. The Torah, the Injil, the Zabur are corrupted. But you can't prove it from the Quran. You can't prove it from the Hadith. But you want me to lie about my Bible and say, Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. I clearly said, Jesus didn't say that. So I do not need End to prove it. You've lost the no, debate. no, you lost. Go, 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 go. See debate. guys. Jesus Wait, never claimed to be God. Yes, he claimed many times. I'm the first and last. I am Al-Haq. Who is the Haq in the Quran? Allah. So stop lying, man. I never lost the debate. I didn't make a claim about Jesus. You made the claim and you made the claim all over again about that the Torah is corrupted. I'm challenging you to show me one ayah where it says the Torah is corrupted. I'm still waiting. Don't change topic. See, you wanted to change topic because you you're a coward. The debate on the okay, okay, of Jesus. okay, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Okay, what is, what is one of the 99 the names of Allah, Al-Haq, right? The truth, right? He's called no, himself no, the truth. Now you're going to present interpretations. Now you're going to present no, interpretations. No, no, no. Jesus said, okay. I am the truth. The way... Does that, it doesn't uh, prove him to be God. Yes, it, it does. Because it's one of the 99 it names of Allah. Right? Allah has... Allah, Allah has says, God. I'm al awwal wal akhir. Allah says, I'm al awwal wal akhir. Jesus says, I am al awwal wal akhir. Okay? So don't even... Don't you you, you want to change topic you because you can show me... You, you know what? Me. You know what? You know. You know what? Don't just go. Me. Just go. You have no dignity. You have no honor. You can't even show me one ayah to back up what you said. Like your brothers that I spanked that other day. You came to waste my time. You can't support your claim from the Quran. You can't show me where the Torah is corrupted. You are adding to the Torah ayahs. Sorry, to the Quran ayahs. You can't show me and. You came to not answer my question. You came to attack the Bible without any proof, making claims, asking the same Ahmadidat questions that we have answered 30 years ago. You have no legs to stand on. Who are you, man? Bring me your true scholars who can actually defend Islam. Thank you, but thank you not. God bless everyone. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. So as you see guys, so as you see the prophet of Islam, he said about the Torah, I believe in you indeed and the one who revealed thee. And then we have two Muslims here who don't speak Arabic, who can't even read uh, the Arabic Quran properly. They want to attack their own prophet, calling him a liar while he says, I believe in you, the Torah and the one who sent you. Who are you guys? You are not even qualified to call yourself a Muslim because you're attacking your own prophet man shame on you and it's on top of that it's from Sunnah Abi Dawood one of the the authentic books of Islam one of the six you Muslims truly have no shame 
lying during Ramadan. I hope you didn't break your Ramadan. I really hope it for you. 